Every year, millions of people get together in the ritual of feast and gratitude that we call Thanksgiving Day. My family adopted this celebration many years ago when we moved to this country, but our Thanksgiving Day celebration always had a little twist to it because each person in the room was required to state something for which they were thankful. Now this expression of appreciation always left everyone feeling positive and optimistic. And I thought to myself, why not do this every day? Why not make every day a day of thanksgiving? Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests, by the end of my speech, you will learn the many benefits of practicing being thankful every day. You will also learn two simple methods that can help you cultivate this attitude of gratitude. So what are the benefits of practicing being thankful? Well, two researchers wanted to know the answer to this very question. So what they did was they designed a study. They got volunteers and they randomly assigned them to three groups. The first group I'm going to call the negative Nancys. Their role was to find everything that went wrong that day. So maybe someone cut them off in traffic, maybe they experienced poor customer service. They would note it and they would record it. The second group we're going to call positive feeds. Their job was to note everything during the day for which they thought they should be thankful. So maybe they had a kindness from a stranger, maybe a wonderful meal. And the third group we're going to call Monday Marys. And their job was just to note anything that happened during the day. So if they went shoe shopping, or maybe they went to McDonald's. And the researchers followed these three groups, and the results were astounding. They found that the group that decided to be thankful every day was the happiest of the three. And not only that, they felt better about their lives. They were more optimistic, more energetic. They were more enthusiastic, more determined less depressed, they were more interested, more joyful, they tended to exercise more, they had fewer illnesses, were more likely to help people and less likely to be envious. The only thing these people had in common was on a daily basis, they found things for which to be thankful. So now we know that being thankful has many benefits. The next question is how do we do this? How do we cultivate this attitude of gratitude? Let me share with you two simple ways that you can implement tonight to help you develop that attitude of gratitude. The first thing is to make the choice to be grateful even when you don't want to be. Remind yourself that everything in your life contributed to where you are today. So be thankful for the good and be thankful for the bad. And I know that's counterintuitive. Who thanks the bad? But sometimes that bad built your character. It gave you strength. So be thankful for everything. And make yourself find something to be thankful for. And sometimes that's difficult to do. I'm going to teach you an easy way. It's called the alphabet game. So whenever you're feeling a sense of lack or feeling that you have nothing for which to be thankful for, you start off with the letters of the alphabet. You start with an A, and you're going to work your way down. And the goal of this is to find as many things as you can with that particular alphabet. So let's say we started with A. Maybe you're thankful for the air you breathe. Or maybe it was a hot day and you're thankful for the air conditioning. Maybe you went to Aruba many years ago and you enjoyed that experience, so you're thankful for those memories. <clears throat> maybe your friend Annie is very supportive and you appreciate that friendship. And you'll be surprised the many things you're thankful for, you just didn't realize it. And what you do when you play that game is you realize that the feeling of lack and the feeling of appreciation, they don't hang out together. So if you're busy being thankful, you're not focusing on what you're lacking. So the next time you're feeling a sense of lack, play the alphabet game. The second thing you want to do is get a, a gratitude journal or a gratitude list. <coughs> and the best way to have this work is to get up once in the morning, and you're going to jot down. This is going to take about a minute of your time. And what you do is you write three things that happened the day before for which you're thankful. And you write three things that you know is going to happen that day, and you're already <coughs> thankful for it. And what you're essentially doing is you're being thankful for the blessings that you already have, and you're claiming the gifts you know you're going to have that day. So you're starting your day being both thankful and hopeful.
And that's the most powerful way to start any day. So get yourself a gratitude journal or list. The thing is, we play a big part in creating our reality. And I believe we cannot welcome more abundance in our lives until we learn to be thankful for the things we already have. So let us see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Let us be thankful for the small things we already have. Starting today, let us begin to cultivate an attitude of gratitude and make every day a day of thanksgiving. Woo!